Hey everybody, welcome back. I am going to share with you my weekly melts today. So we'll get started with the vendors that I only melted like one or two of. First up is from Cupcake Candles in Creamy Coconut Cake. I didn't get much of a scent throw from this at all. Maybe just a hint of coconut and vanilla, but it wasn't a good thrower for me. From Front Porch Cinnamon Butter Cream Cake. This was pretty strong on the cinnamon and berry with like a little tiny cake note. The cinnamon and berry were predominant. This is Cherry Marshmallow Cupcakes. Love this scent. It was amazing. It was a sweet, creamy marshmallow scent, cherry scent. I loved it. And then some candles from the keeping room. This one is Strawberry Dew. And um, it smelled like Strawberry Mountain Dew. And it was a pretty decent throw, so that one was enjoyable. Next up is Satsuma and Strawberry. And this was just a nice strawberry orange scent. It was a good one. And then there's a couple here, individual ones. Berry Buttercream Puffs. Um, this was a little lighter throw. It smelled like a light, you know, um, berry frosting scent, but it was pretty light. Peach Pie Filling pretty much just smelled like peach, a peach scent. Hot Orange Danish. I loved it. This was super strong. I love any... This was a really good orange bakery scent. And then Crunch Berry Crisp. This one was kind of a light throw as well, but it was really heavy on the berry. It did smell good. Then some Rose Girls. This one is Strawberry Frankenberry. Um, this one was a lighter throw, but it just pretty much smelled like a sugary strawberry scent. Apple Cranberry. This one was strong, and it lasted forever. Apple, cranberry, the whole thing. Now this one I am so mad about. Um, when they had the pie sale, I really didn't know what pie to get. And I ordered something else that I'm sure I'll love. But I wish I would have got this. Sweet Lavender Royal Sugar Cookie. I love this scent. I put it in an 18 watt hot plate and it just smelled so good. And I wish I would have got a pie in it so I could use it for the bedroom. But I didn't. So live and learn, live and learn. Then from Tiffany Candles Birthday Bash, just smells like a really, um, you get the cotton candy and the cakey note, note in there. It's a nice one. And then Ultimate Donut, donut just a nice cinnamon sugar scent. And then for a few of the clamshells from Sensationals, Rhubarb Crumble. This is really strong rhubarb scent. I only used one cube and it had a really good throw. Calypso Sand, I got this going now in the bedroom. It's just a nice, relaxing spa type of scent to me. And the same goes with Rain Kiss. Just nice, calming, soothing scent. And then from Haley's Heavenly Scents, this is Toasted Hansel and Gretel. And I didn't get a whole lot of scent throw from it. I'm not sure why, I just, I didn't. And then this is from the Bathing Garden Tinsel. I get a lot of like spearmint and peppermint in this, and that's why I like to melt it in the bedroom. It's just a calming scent. And then this one is, uh, this is Cratchit's Christmas Pudding. This one I just get like a creamy fruit plum scent, so I don't really consider it Christmas. And then the last tart, well, clamshell, is candy cane. Just nice, relaxing candy cane scent for in the bedroom. And then I only got through one little candle this week, and it was from Candles by Victoria in Caramelized Banana Split. And, you know, with these little ones, I really don't get scent throws, but they mount nicely, and it's just nice ambiance, but I really don't get a scent release. But, um, yeah, so this week didn't have a whole lot. If you got any questions about any of the vendors or anything like that, please comment below, and I will be happy to get back with you. Thank you guys so much for watching. Have a good day. Bye, everybody.